All right, this is update two on the uh, Coyote Swap Fox body. So here we're at, <laughs> prying uh, the door open with the broom. But uh, notice a little bit of surface dress back here. So I started removing all the uh, the undercoating, and we, we found a hole there and there. But uh, the worst one was uh, over here. <clears throat> Actually, a huge section of the floor pan is completely rotted out and starting to get to the frame rail. Luckily, it seems like the rust ends right about there and starts right about here, so it's all actually accessible through the holes, but that being said, I will still probably rip it up here, cut her out, and then epoxy prime inside that rail, and uh, yeah, send her down. And this is uh, one of the mounts for the uh, like lower control arm for the uh, live axle. So I'll have to take that bolt out, and then uh, cut all this stuff out. Because yeah, it slides out through a hole right there. Which is probably why it got so bad. It's because it lets all that stuff in and maybe those drains down there got clogged with whatever. But uh, yeah, other than that, a few spots up top here. You know, in there, cause, uh, windshield's all rusted and cracked. And I'm thinking that's maybe where the water's coming in is through the windshield and dropping down. And it's spreading from up there, so I gotta figure that out. But, such is life. You don't know what you're gonna get till you uh, start taking it apart. So, yeah, this is day uh, probably day 20 of of the Coyote Swap, but uh, day three of of actual work. So, I don't know if there's anything you guys want to actually uh, more in detailed look, or I don't know, actually want to see uh, the work it takes to get it done. Give a comment down below. Why not? Yeah, there's the engine under the table and the uh, T45 transmission, which luckily now gets to get swapped over to cable. But, uh, yeah. See you guys.
Is what? Hold on. Pardon me? Laundry machine? No, no, laundry dog. Laundry dog. Somebody yesterday came. Laundry dog never moved. I have my washing machine and doesn't work. Eh? Put a new machine. Another guy asked me, no, no, I come. I'm not a do that. You have to laundry dog and move. I, I don't know which pipe but open. Oh. I two, three people find it all day my spend. But people ask I'm busy today, busy today. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've never done. Uh... Uh, Brendan, no, he's not here yet, and Brett, uh, he's not gonna be here, I think, for like three weeks, because he's in Japan. Yeah, sorry. Okay.
here's my plan. Since I'm still kind of worried about it being compromised due to kind of the arrest, is I'm just going to kind of cut these, get them about middle way up, well, as high as I can go, and then just tack these in. Well, weld the, uh, the top side to what I can do, or maybe put a backing plate on it and then weld the backing plate on, which may be the better uh, form as work as a doubler plate. And then uh, that, that should hopefully stiffen up this area. And, and I really wouldn't be worried about uh, this being structurally uh, compromised with all the, the pitting of the rust. It's just that uh, this control arm right here bolts on and uh, I'm probably gonna have to put something across in there just so I can take the uh, maybe all the load off of this cross member and maybe transfer it uh, like it is OEM to uh, this main beam that runs across which is quite the uh, the thick piece so that that's my plan and uh, maybe we'll get it done today maybe we won't but hey you're along for the ride if you're watching So now, what well, my idea is, and we're only going on ideas here, is to uh, weld this guy in here, and weld there, and across this top seam, and there, and there, and there, and then, uh, one, it does give me more to weld to when I overlay a plate here, but uh, this should reinforce that, and then with a pipe going across here, that should, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, Make this a uh, strong spot again. So that's what I'm going to uh, quickly do. And you're going to watch me do. Or you can just stop watching. You know what, you guys probably can't see shit when I'm welding, so I'm just going to uh, freeze frame here. Or if I could. Alright, uh, I ran out of room on my phone, but now that I've deleted all my uh, most cherished memories, I got room for uh, a little bit more video. So there you go, that's welded in, that's welded in. She's all welded and uh, basically ready for paint and uh, plate over top, but uh, yeah, I don't know, it turned out alright. I think the idea behind everything here is, is gonna work. I'm pretty happy that the uh, the bottom frame there isn't uh, too rotted out. That uh, doesn't force me to have to cut all this shit out. So, that, that's an upper layer, or a plate that the, uh, the mount 
where the hanger goes off of, and uh, maybe some other shit too. Oh, the uh, soft brake line. So that, that's why that's kind of like that. But uh, it'll get holes in the plate that goes on, and just very similar uh, plug welding to what they do uh, factory. So, so yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with this, and now we're gonna go paint it and uh, see how she looks. So with the power of uh, editing, she should be painted now. All right, so we've made a plate. Uh, all this is boxed in. Don't worry about all this kind of stuff. I uh, had to grind it off because I do spot welds there. But she's all boxed in. She's got a piece of plate there. Square tubing in there. Little reinforcement plates in there. And then cut this guy out. Drilled little holes so I can replicate the factory plug welds on that. You know, so I almost box in the whole frame and make it pretty strong. So then I'm going to weld this in, and then uh, you guys can see the aftermath. Alright, back at her. Now we're uh, we're all welded in, and all the spall welds are filled it in, and uh, attached to the uh, the frame there, and that's all in. Uh, top section has to get re done still, but uh, it should be alright. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's Sunday today, so... Uh, I think I'm done working for the day, as it's 8 p.m. on a Sunday, so. Yep. Hopefully, uh, next week, we can, uh, finish the, uh, the upper section. Now, I know it looks weird, like, that's being cut out like that, but it's not. This is just a backing plate, so the new plate will go over that, and I'll have to figure that out, but, uh, yeah. I think it turned out all right. 